Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the most desired item for the Alliance on Hardcore. That is going to be Light of a Loon. Now, Light of a Loon is pretty simple. It's a level 24 and 25 quest chain that it starts here in Ashen Vale. But it's, it has a little bit of intricacies that might make it a little harder because these mobs can be quite dangerous depending on your class and spec but before we get into the video be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so right here we are in the uh maestral lake here in ashenvale and the quest is from uh the sentinel here it is called elemental bracers this is step one of the light of a loon quest and essentially you have to just get this quest come out here into the lake and kill these water elementals now these water elementals are no joke um, if you follow a lot of death channels, you'll see quite a lot of people have died here doing this quest. So just be very careful. Um, on Mage Warrior especially, they're very, very risky. I would highly recommend you never go to this middle island right here. Because uh, a level 27 water elemental called Tydris will pat through there. So it's really scary. Um... I like to stick to the outsides here and fight the ones that are on the coast and shore. And I would highly recommend that you always bring them up above water. I'm on a druid, so I can just go to aquatic form if I need more breath. But for you guys, if you're not a druid or have an elixir of water breathing, definitely would recommend that you bring it all the way up to the shore. Because as you can see, they frost nova you. So if you get frost nova under water, you could risk dying. Now, these things have a pretty low drop rate, so but you need five elemental bracers from them, and then you use this divining scroll, and then you will head on to part two of the quest, which we will talk about in a moment when we get there. So I'm going to farm out these water ellies, and then I will see you in a bit. Whoop! Alrighty, guys, so we have now made it back here. We've got all five of those bracers, so we're going to use this divining scroll. And then we're going to turn in well the quest, done, and then we get the next this one. The this is, is called only... the Mage Summoner, and it is uh, Sarlus Foulbane. And he is in the Barrens here on top of this mountain. He is a level 25 mage. Um, he does kind of hit a little hard, so definitely be aware of that when you are going there. I'll definitely show you guys my uh, druid killing it. He does summon some adds as well. But I'm going to head there and show you guys uh, the fight there. And that will be our reward, Light of a Loon. So I'll see you when we get there. Also, guys, a little quick note here. Uh, when you are alliance, do not run through the horde gate. You will die. There's a little side part here that you can very easily just run right through. Um, this is the safe way to get to this mountain. But when you're in the barrens, just be careful because there are a lot of horde guards and stuff at these locations. So just definitely make sure you do your best to avoid them because they will, one, kill you. And two PvP flag you if they you enter combat with them, so then other horde players can kill you. So just be completely aware of that and try your best not to uh, run into those. But anyway, guys, I'll see you when we go for the kill. Alrighty, guys, so we've made it to the top of Dreadmist Peak. Here is the guy that we need to fight. I am a twinked out feral druid, so I should be able to kill him. But he summons. These elementals, which do a decent amount of damage. So you definitely just got to be careful of that. He runs away as well and can aggro other people. But all in all, pretty simple kill there. Um, but just be aware because, you know, if you want, you can even kill these acolytes. They are level 11, so it's not too scary. But I got really lucky there with my opener and some crits. So if you're not heavily geared uh, and it's your first character just be careful because this frost bolts hit for quite a lot um, but now we are going to head back turn in the quest and get our light of a loon so i'll see you when we get there Voop. 
Alrighty guys, so we have made it back here at Maestro Lake. We're turning oh, in this and bam, we have our blood. light of the moon. Now well this will adventure. give you a one-time bubble and yes, you can hearth with it. It is not disabled, but you do need to sort of make a macro slash cast slash use light of a loon slash cast uh hearthstone and that should work it is very sketchy and close if you have a like priest shield or a sacrifice if you're a warlock something like that to ensure it doesn't break that'll help you out a lot too but you know that immunity might be your best salvation but if you're manually clicking it you will not get it there but anyway guys that's it for this video i hope this helps you a ton and good luck with your hardcore journeys i hope light of a loon will save your life one day until next time i'll see you later Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video thank you so so much for watching it truly means a lot to me if you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video please 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 share it with them it helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what i love every single day and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that i can so finally thank you so much and i hope you have a fantastic day goodbye